Hey guys, welcome back. Illusion here with you again, like always. Back for more Elite Dangerous. I found myself in an odd situation this afternoon. So I recorded the previous video just uh, just a few hours ago. Like earlier this morning, maybe. Doesn't matter. And um, I've been hammering out these passenger missions, and I'm getting to the point where I'm having to turn down passenger missions because I do not have the room. I'm currently in a sidewinder because I wish I went and grabbed uh, two Imperial Sentry missions and I had to have a. Uh, had to go to Outpost. So I switched on the sidewinder. So let's go over here. So I'm having to turn down passenger missions because I don't have the room. Right now, my current capacity is about 70 something. And, uh, you know, the Anaconda's fitted for more of a kind of a multi-role. I didn't want outfitting, I wanted a shipyard. Um, it's kind of fitted in multi-role, it's got a ship launch fighter, it's got a shield cell bank, but it still can carry some passengers, and then, you know, I can easily just roll into a a combat, or combat area and, and, you know, duke it out. But, I need more passenger space. I need to stop turning down missions, and I need more passenger space. So, we're going to do something stupid, and we're going to go buy a Beluga. I know, I didn't think it'd ever come out of my mouth because I'd go buy a huge passenger liner. But yeah, that's kind of what we're going to do in this video. So, let's get rid of this. Let's get back my Anaconda. The reason I want that is because of the jump range. And this one's even with a, uh, I think I put a B rated, it's only like 12. So... Let's um, sell store. No, use this ship. So I'm gonna switch from the Sidewinder back to the Anaconda. I'm gonna plot a route back to what I'm calling my home world, and I know they have a Beluga there. And we're gonna pick it up. So I'm sorry, I'm just gonna show you. My last run that I made, one way trip was two and a half million. Right, almost 2.6 million single leg run. And but that's getting me to where I have to start turn down missions. And if I can stop turning down missions, my single leg number will just kind of continue to skyrocket. But uh, let's see what's available right now. So look right here, you know. Almost one million for and look look two of these right here. That's almost two point it's almost two million dollars just with two missions right there, and that will fill up half of my capacity. So imagine if I double my capacity. In fact I might go run this real quick. Might go drop these dudes off and then go over to my home world and pick up the beluga. In fact that's what I'm gonna do. So Let's go ahead and I shouldn't have anybody on board. So 64 and this is 12. So that's 76. So my passenger capacity is 76. Now if I switched over to ED Shipyard and I built out the Orca. The Orca is, I have it up right now, 43 million with a capacity of 76. The Beluga is almost 80 with a capacity of 140. So, big difference. Basically, I'm going to be doubling my capacity. Alright, guys, so let me just load up these fools. Um, let's see if there's any other decent, high paying missions. I'm not doing sightseeing adventure. You guys can kiss my ass, sorry. Unless it's a single leg. If it's only one destination, like I just took a general or whatever. You pay me 2.2 million to for a single leg, which I'll do that. Um, I mean, those are that's okay, but I'm starting to get more a little more picky with my missions. Let's just switch. Let's see what I can get out of here. Start. Open.
Hmm. Jeez, look at that. 1.2 million for 20 prisoners. Absolutely. Load up. Nope. Two, 11 for 246. 5 for 288. In fact, I'll stick these guys here. I have another mission. Where'd I go? Oh, do I not have any more capacity for this? Oh. Yeah, I need to fix this. Anyway, this is going to be a decent load. No matter what. Let's see if there's any strategic whatever things to go and I'll flip back to solo and start the journey incoming mission critical message now what okay I got you so yeah this many of might be a little bit longer but I'm kind of goofing off. Um, nope. 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 Switch back. Let's see if I can grab a few more people. But this is well past uh, on our way to a $3 million load, single leg load. Nope, nope. Nope. Alright, you guys can load up. We are full out, so I will meet you. I won't worry about bringing you back for going to the next destination. Drop these guys off. But I'll make sure I'll try to keep in tally, see how much money we make. And I'll see you on the other side. All right, guys, we're back. So I made it back to my home station, the Haya Orbital. Maybe I don't know. I don't know, this is where I'm calling home. I like it because we it's a Li Bron Yong Ru station. It's a high tech system, so you get the discount and high tech, and it's like twenty seconds from the main star, so it's easy to jump into. So I'm calling this home for now. So we jump over to shipyard. I did I did do that mission, it was three point one mil um, single leg, and then one of my Passengers decided they needed to go back to where it started from, so I picked up a few more passengers and did a 2.1 million return trip. So, just picked up an extra 5 million just on a round trip. Um, so, Beluga Liner. Cost 71 million, which, it, which includes the 15% discount for being in this station. So... I'm going to store my current ship. Just want to make sure we do that. Do not want to sell the Anaconda. Jesus, thing is huge. Alright, let's get it outfitted. Now this station does not have a whole lot of outfitting, but I think it has everything I need to get this guy rolling. Um, Alright, optional internal. So... Can 
we move this to a, a damn I see a 6D our mass? What's our mass? Mass is 40. Okay, well let me just, let's just fix this part first. Oh man, they do not have 6E. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Oh, I was thinking. Alright, so six there. Six E. Six E, six E. Six E. Okay. So she's out. 5e. Five, 6e, 6e, 5e. And this one right here will be a docking computer. Thank you. This one will be cargo. I started from the bottom because I want to make sure I do this right. So we'll carry around four, eight cargo, which really, it's really all I need. I shouldn't worry about dedicating two of these, but. Alright. 4E. So I have only a capacity of eight, which means I'm gonna have to sell off every round trip because usually you get, I don't know, maybe I should, I don't know, we'll have to see how this is gonna go right here. Because you get a lot of crap, you know, I'm dr almost just drowning in modular terminals. But I don't wanna not have any because you can't turn in missions unless you have cargo space to accept the the rewards need to sell off. So I at least want to get eight. I could switch this to a another eight, have sixteen total, which is what I did in my build over there. So we will have a total of so it'll be 32, 64, 96, um hundred and twenty eight there. 136, 140, 144, 144 passengers. Not bad, I, I would say. It's pretty much double what I had earlier, from 76 to 140, whatever. Core internal. Let's see if we can lighten it up a little bit. Do 60. We have seven D thrusters. We do. I'll come back to deal with that. Let's see if we can lighten this up. Why is there two six E's? That's weird. 
Um. Yeah, that's fine. And derate everything. 128 capacity there. Alright, so the jump range is currently 9.69 as is. And the jump between the two stations that have been running is 11.7, just under 12. So we need to get this up to at least be able to do 12 light years. Well, it's not exactly how I wanted to do it. Huh. Let me, I'm going to pause the camera, pause the video real quick. I'm going to switch screens and to see, and check my, um, check online and see if there's a close by place where I can get a little bit better, a uh, grade 7 or size 7 FSD. So give me a second. Alright guys, I'm back. So, I just want to look at our resource, and I wasn't that far off. Um, the neighboring station has the higher grade FSDs. I just didn't remember that off the top of my head, but... I'm pretty sure it may jump away. For such a huge ship, it feels good. That's good too. Fallows ring. Oh, that's... Is that a, um... Outpost? Alright, well I'm going to secure a 7C frameshift drive from somewhere, if this is not going to work out, and then I will be, well, <laughs> so, I'll be back in just a few minutes. Alright guys, we're back. So, a little bit later, I ended up going back and getting back in the Anaconda, and I've fixed it to a little bit more of a combat slash multi-purpose role change out a lot of the uh, seats but I still left 16 16 business seats so maybe just more like an armored transport here I see like a high profile mission that takes me a little further out besides these two places I can just switch into this which means I did the ship transfer to bring the beluga down here and unfortunately I just missed the countdown I was not paying attention to the time Getting other things done. I gotta leave to go to work tomorrow. So, it is now here. So, let's switch out. So, we'll have the Anaconda here parked if we have any high, kind of high profile missions. Otherwise, we'll just be using the Beluga Liner running back and forth. And you can see my money's dipped out. Spent basically about 98 million. The Beluga was about 80. I just got another 18 or so. Um, I did put a. I said I was going to put a 7C frame shift drive. I ended up putting a 7B. Just to get a little more flexibility out of it. So, if we pop over here. Let's 
I wish it gave a total. But I think we'll count like 140 something. I wonder why my empire rank is down. Anywho, let's see what we've got in the passenger lounge. Um, no. Five prisoners of war for 224. It's not bad. No. No. Well, where's all the decent mission missions? Go ahead and just 144. There it goes. Well, let's, just, let's just start loading people up. And let's see if there's any missions. Nope. Nope. Alright, well. Let me spend a minute stacking my ship up and we'll see what we can get. Alright guys, we're back. So, just got my second mission update. Inquiry meant to go back to legal dock. Um, oh, actually this is a change for more money. Oh yeah. But I uh, kept the... Actually I got it filled out perfectly for exactly 144 passengers. You see, I just updated this one. They want to go back there. I don't understand why it's, it's bugged out and so we're going to Ship okay. secured. Have a pleasant visit, Commander. Let's offload these people and see how well we do. So we're at 106.3. 106.318. Let me write that down. 106.318. Start dumping off some of these people. Two twenty four. Twelve. Forty six. One point two mil. Cargo hold at maximum capacity. There's 71. The 8. Uh, let's see how many more we got. So this is the no, this is the other part that kind of sucks. Can't dump off that last mission because we have this. Come, load up for me. There we go. Okay, that goes. That's what's going back. Right, right, right. Okay, and so that takes us to one ten one. One seventy one. So that was two three point eight million right there, probably. Doing some little bit of wild guessing. Not bad. And I didn't optimize our load. I just picked whatever was up there pick the biggest ones I could. So pretty cool. Alright, I'm gonna run a few more, see if I can build up my balance a little bit. Turn in these for the rep. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like the new um, Beluga. Let's see what else we can do. Maybe I'll look to see if on a workshop if there's any cool paint jobs and I'll pick up a paint job. So see you guys on the next one.